Good afternoon. What you're looking at there is uh, an Arduino color organ that uses a Arduino Pro Mini and does uh, real-time fast Fourier transform on incoming sound and uh, decomposes that into three frequency bands and displays red, green, blue when uh, it hears sound. There is automatic gain uh, control in the software so it adjusts for ambient sound and if it's quiet for a while it actually um, starts displaying kind of a random color light show that's pretty neat and then as soon as you start uh, playing some music or talking once again it shifts back into the uh, color organ mode, red, green, blue, the way I have it programmed right now. So uh, it's actually, it actually is bright enough to see pretty well uh, with color saturation in uh, ambient room light, as I guess you can see. And uh, so let's see what it is here. It's, this is a, this is a, um, a uh, translucent plastic bottle f that uh, some kind of bath soap comes in. And this of course is a standard tuna can. And I've mounted a little electret microphone in a grommet in there. And uh, a switch, on off switch. And then I found a plastic lid that covers the base of the tuna can. So let's, let's see what's inside. Okay. So, 9 volt battery power, there's the Arduino Pro Mini, there. Let's see if I can just dissect this out without breaking it. Unplug the power, how about that? Okay, there's the Arduino Pro Mini and some cabling that I made up. Those are the, I put a header on there for the programming. FTDI to serial, or serial parallel, serial USB. And then uh, I made a little circuit board for it. That's my homemade printed circuit board with the bank of LEDs, four each, red, green, and blue, super bright LEDs. These things only draw about seven or eight milliamps each, the way I have them set in there, with their uh, dropping resistors there. And this is the audio preamp over here. And that all goes into the Arduino Pro Mini and comes out and makes contact with some headers. I'm getting pretty good at making these little uh, sketched printed circuit boards. It's not beautiful, but it works. Turns out that an ordinary Sharpie marker, you don't have to get the, the super industrial strength kind, an ordinary Sharpie marker works just fine with the ferric chloride etchant system. You can sketch your, sketch your printed circuit and it'll work. Okay, let's see if I can get it all back together now. That goes in there like that. And the power connector. Oops, you try this with one hand. Sorry about the light. Power connector the battery in there somehow, all like that. And there you have it, the Arduino Fast Fourier Transform Color Organ.